What's up, everyone? Welcome to uh, a First Impressions for a game that I've been uh, quite excited for for some time now. I know uh, some of you guys are actually going to recognize this from the Sony Gamescom press conference. And uh, yeah, um, Sony was showing off this game and they were actually releasing a trailer at Gamescom. It's called The Vanishing of Ethan Carter. And it released last week on PC exclusively, and it will be releasing in sometime in 2015 for the PlayStation 4. So, but right now, for the time being, it's a PS4 exclusive. I thought I'd check it out. I did pre-order it off off of Steam, and was just trying to find the right time to play this. Um, it's going to be so busy trying to balance this, and you have new games coming out tomorrow, which is Tuesday. It's just going to be a little, really, really busy. So, and I do have face cam on. Yeah, right now I'm getting about 45. I'm pretty much staying in 45 frames per second average, so that's fine um, for playing right here. And wow, these are really beautiful graphics, aren't they? Look at this. This is a narrative experience that doesn't hold your hand, so we have um, stuff. Is that blood? No, it's just rocks. It looked, looked like blood. Dude, this game is pretty gorgeous, I have to say. I mean... I'd be really uh, happy when this game comes out on the PS4 thing, get it to do 1080p, um, 60 frames per second, because it looks really nice right now. The video frame rate is also stable, which is nice for you guys. You guys are getting stable 30. See, right now I'm reaching up in the 90s. I don't have vertical sync at Wow. I guess we should watch out for traps. Hold mouse button. Okay. This game looks nice, though, you have to admit. Jeez! Whoa, 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 whoa! Hold. I have to sense this. So I guess it's, it looks like it's trying to fill out a picture of some sorts. But wow, I did not. I almost got killed by that. Huh. It's just gorgeous. I mean. Let's be honest here, it just, it just okay. It just really is. It's creating more of an image. Uh, can you jump? There's a bridge over there, a broken bridge. Okay, control. Left control is crouch, but you can't jump at all, huh? I can zoom in if I um, right-click the mouse. If I left-click the mouse. No, no, right-click. It doesn't hold your hand, so we can explore however long we want. My god, look at that view, man. Look at that view, wow. Wow. I'm screenshotting that, hold on. F10 is it? For Steam? Is it F10 or is it F12? F11. Uh, for those of you guys who are wondering, this game is um, $15. Yes, $15 to purchase. I think it may be $20. Okay, it's either $15 or $20 to purchase. If you pre order it, you get the soundtrack for free. Which, um, you know, I did. I, I, that's actually why, because. I was deciding whether to get this on PS4 and or, or PC, and when I heard that the PC version was going to be coming out late September, and the PlayStation 4 wasn't coming out until 2015, it just made more sense for me to go and get it on PC when I have a pretty capable game, well not a pretty capable gaming PC, but you know, a, a gaming PC that could handle this game just fine. And as you can see, right now I'm getting like, I'm, right now it says I'm getting like 85 frames per second average, so certain parts it's going to dip. This probably leads us to our to our death. This game is reminding me a lot of Dear Esther. If you guys ever played Dear Esther, this game reminds me a lot like that. But it's it's more narrative heavy. Dear Esther was very um was very interesting because it's a game that you it didn't really tell you what to do. You didn't really know what to do, but it had like this interesting place, right? And you wanted to explore, and it had this narrative being fed to you. That was pretty wild, too, so, but... 
Yeah. I can't wait till um those guys make another game. They're making um um everyone's gone to the rapture. Which is uh, actually actually a PS4 exclusive. That's gonna be cool. Ooh, look at that. Look at those particle effects. Alright, so we'll, we'll make sure we don't fall off here. Can I see my feet? No. It's an indie game. You can't see. It's pretty cool. I'm glad. Alright, okay, good good thing. You can sprint. Okay, so we have inspect. Aha, blood, animal, or human blood. Was it an accident or was someone murdered? Enter. Oh yeah, nice reflections right here. Turn off. Forward, backward. Is it doesn't move. Turn off. Yeah, it doesn't move at all. Exit. Uh, okay. Anything up here? I don't know if there's like a lot of exploration in this game. Like, do you have to? Not, well, I, um, of course, a lot of exploration. But is there like a lot of you know collectibles and stuff to find throughout the world? I don't know. What is this? Cut ties, huh? Untied or tied? No blood. Oh, someone was tied here. All right, someone was tied here. And the, ro the rope's been cut right here. Okay, is there any sign? Oh. Oh, look at this. Oh, someone's legs. <laughs> Rest of a corpse. Blood trail. Follow the blood trail, maybe? Dude, look at that. That blood looks really good. Like, the dried up blood, they made it, they made it look really good. So, severed legs. Oh, that's awful. Here's the blood trail. If we follow the blood trail... Aha! There's the body. There's the body. Damn. Blood from legs. Blood from... from... Fractured skull, too, huh? A head trauma. Touch. What? Touch what? Not yet. Death scene. Disturbed by third party. Eroded by time. Hold. Hold on. Did someone, like, maybe he was crawling away and then someone came up and just murdered his ass? I have, like, no idea. Under construction. So we, our whole point is to find out, like, different elements throughout the game that can connect us here. We have oil, looks like, gasoline, and, or diesel fuel. Dropped carelessly in a rush on purpose. Canister, alright. Dried grass, dried grass, no sun. Rectangle shape, rectangle shape. So, if you guys can connect this, aha, uh -huh, yeah, see, they're showing you, if you guys can connect this, the rail car used to be here, and it was here for a long time because th there's no dried up, um, there, there's some dried up grass here, and obviously, if there's no direct sunlight coming, it's something had to be blocking it, and that is the rail car, so it's telling us the rail car <laughs> used to be right here. This is cool. So we have to find a way. If I'm if I'm if I'm getting this game mechanic right, we have to find a way to get that rail car back to where it was originally. It could have used coal. It could have used the oil. Rock, rock, rock. Did it? Fresh dirt. So there's a missing rock here. Rock, 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 rock. So there's a rock that was here. The rock could have been used to, um, to, to hit that guy in the head repeatedly. Rock. Where is the rock? The rock is over there. Why is the rock over there? Here. Let's go over and find it. It said it was somewhere here. Where's the rock? Hold on. If we go back here... We need to find a rock that's next to a chopped tree. So if there's a chopped tree anywhere... A chopped tree trunk. Probably in this vicinity. Aha! There's the tree trunks right here. And the rock is somewhere here. Here we go. You can rotate or zoom. Aha! Look, there's the blood. 
we know that no, we okay we know that his head from what I can gather from this in order to do that the, the fractured skull this guy probably hit him in the head with a rock I'll take that and our goal right now is to if I can go to the body let's see if I can go to the body not yet okay let me go back to the the place where the rock was let me try to replace the rock there there we go we fixed the scene Okay. We have to find a way to get this rail car moving. If we can move, if we can get the rail car to move back. Here, let me see if I can get, if there's anything I can use to actually start the rail car. So if we go over here, there's a piece that goes right here. See? Crank. We need to find the crank. You know, it's really, um, what I wish they did here is that they gave you like a map and within that map you'd have to, it, it would tell you, oh, where you're supposed to look is generally within this area because I don't know how far I can go. Because if I wanted to right now, since the whole game is freeform, if I wanted to right now I can just completely lead the mission and I can completely lead the area and go somewhere else, but I really want to figure out this, um this crime here to help us, you know, to help us get closer to what happened to the kid, Ethan Carter. So, what happened? I cannot find the crank. It is nowhere to be seen at all where did it go where is it hiding i cannot find the crank to reverse the train i will never progress through this game i will be stuck at the very first mission thank you for taking my twenty dollars He's not here. Okay, let's let's think for a sec. I just want to think. He would have had to remove the crane, didn't he use there's blood in the rock, so I would think the rock is most likely for his head, but where the the crane Alright, so wait till you see this guys. This is where the crane is. And you know it's a bad sign when you have to look up what to do on the first ever investigation of the game. The, the crane is all the way down here. Uh, I don't know if the guy just chucked it, but it's down here in the river somewhere. Oh, there it is. Why would the crane be down here? All right, so now we have a conflicting thing. There's blood on the crane too. Crank, I keep calling it a freaking crane. There's blood on the crank as well. So did he kill him with the crank or did he kill him with the, um? The rock? Which one was it? Alright, so we have the crank. Now we need to go back to the train. Alright, so finally at the train here. Alright. Tap! I'm gonna keep tapping it. Alright, so maybe now we can enter and move the train car back yes it's working oh. okay is it back where it's supposed to go I think it is you know that's good enough okay 
Maybe we can touch this guy. Touch. Uh-oh. Yes, we got it. Nice. All right, so in this part, we're supposed to connect what we found. We have to connect it to basically find out, okay, these are the order of events in which this happened to lead to this guy's death. And these are little souls, I guess, for little paths telling you, okay. Alright, so, first thing we have... Can I see this? Aha, so this is our kid. This is Ethan Carter here. We have some old guy, I have no idea who that is. He's looking over this guy as his legs have been severed. Here's the guy with the train. And the old guy sees him. What's over here? Okay, this guy grabs a rock. So this guy grabs a rock. Comes over here. He has the rock in his hand. The guy's... Okay, this guy actually looks like he's gonna do something. What's this guy looking at? Hold on. I think he's noticed, okay, so I think he's trying to say, okay, what's behind his hand? You can see he's hiding, he's hiding the rock, so he's probably looking at what's behind what he's trying to hold. He probably thinks it's a gun or something like that. What's here? Well, the guy's covering his face, so okay, so that guy hit him with the rock first. Covered his face. What's over here? He was tied up, and this guy was here. Okay. This happened, I would say this happened first. Okay. Then, then this happened right here, all right? The old man saw this. This happened. Then I would say He met up with this guy, he hit him in the face. The guy came over here, was like bruised or something like that, or just knocked out. Ran him over with the train car. And then finally delivered the final blow. Space visualize. Okay, let's see if I got this right. Listen to me. We can destroy it. I know how. You can't destroy it, Ethan. You can't destroy time. That's what he is. He is forever. Okay. That was the first thing. This guy notices it. Picks up a rock. Gail, honey, I wish there was another way. So we don't know if this guy is a bad guy. Maybe he was helping him out because Travis, that guy. Tell me where Ethan is. Now. Ooh. We're giving the sleeper what he wants. What all of us want. Look, old man. You need to go. <gasps> okay. Yeah, he, he. And then he came over here after he got hit. No, no, Ethan escaped from the ropes. That guy got stunned. He moved the train car over. Nice. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> this is it, guys. This is what happened. Ethan, run, goddammit. Go. Get out of here. Travis, close your eyes. Ugh! Hits him in the head repeatedly, okay. So that's what happened. That's what happened in order. That, that's pretty cool, I like that. You get a cool, cool mystery element to it. So we solved this murder case. What happens now? What is this? Maybe this tells us where to go next? No, it just flies off. It's telling us to go over there. Alright. I like that. That's pretty awesome. Grandpa? Stay away! Well, that's his grandfather. I can feel the sleeper in my head. Then fight it! 
I have to destroy the room. Corvus. I'm sorry. Ethan. Oh no. I can't let you do that. Oh. Alright, so we know that that old guy is his grandfather. When I turned Ethan's family against him, the grandfather was trying to resist. Okay, so so Age helps against those things that feed on hate. Not because of wisdom or experience. Because the old are tired. Their hate is less useful. Alright, so we know that that guy, that guy who got killed, was actually trying to help Ethan for the better of, for I think for the better good of the city, or whatever this town is. Because no one liked the fact that he was, that they had powers, or we don't know who the sleeper is, we don't know what the sleeper is. That So his grandfather helped him out, saved his life, Ethan revealed that, okay, he wanted to do something to stop it. His grandfather was like, no, I don't, you can't, I'm not going to let you stop it, and Ethan ran away. And his grandfather went following him, or we don't we don't know. That was pretty cool. I like that. That was nice. I, uh, that's a really cool element, to be honest. That is a really really cool element. Unique, interesting. Okay, so now we're on the other side. I can barely hear the soundtrack because I have the game volume turned down. You know, so you guys don't get an echo through the microphone. But it sounds really good. Which is nice because I burned I, br I burned a soundtrack to a CD, you know, because I got it for with the pre-order. So I, I took the soundtrack and I put it on a CD. I'm gonna listen it. I'm gonna listen to it tomorrow in my car. May even use it in some unboxings. So that looks really pretty. Like look at all this foliage and stuff. It looks really good. I feel like there's gonna be a trap in here. What's that? What's that over there? It looks like a light post or something. Yeah, I just get a bad feeling about going going in that general area. I feel like there's a trap over there. A city or this this town is littered with secrets. Look at the detail in that branch right there, it's pretty good. Detail on the rock. Looks really good from afar, yeah. This is probably one of the most beautiful games, you know, like art direction, definitely. Still use some 2D textures and stuff, but most games do, and um, this game just uses it very well. And Dear Esther, whenever, whenever you're walking around, the foliage actually moved um, depending on where the camera is. So the foliage would rotate depending on where you were looking at it just it was weird sometimes because you'd be like this you'd walk around the foliage and it'd be rotating around it was a 2d texture so it just looked it looked odd so you can keep going up if you want really yeah let's let's do it let's explore i don't know if this is the right i don't even think there is a right way to be honest i think this whole game is just exploring finding out things as you go along there is a there's an end game screen, so which is nice. It's nice to know that you're working towards an end at least. This game actually got a good review. I saw I saw someone who gave it a nine out of ten. Pretty good. Gorgeous lying effects. Man, look at that view. I freaking wish, why can't I just push F10? I think it's because I have my um, DX Tori up recording the footage, but I'm gonna, I am gonna—I wanna take a lot of screenshots and post them on Facebook and stuff. Cause I mean, this is just, this is breathtaking right now. Yeah, this is just breathtaking. I just wanna take this in. Uh,
definitely would be more cinematic as third person, but first person's always easier because now you don't have to record animations and stuff. You're essentially just a camera. What is that? What is this? It's a code. An astronaut. The com the, the game company that made this are ast it's called Astronaut, right? The game company. What's this guy doing here? It's Sandra Bullock from Gravity. This is where she landed at the end of the movie. <laughs> oh my God, I love that. I mean, he lo it looks like he's leading me somewhere, but then then it looks like he whoa whoa. This I want to go too. I want to go too. What is this? Dude, dude, we're in space. I'm in space. Jeez. Dude, where are we going? We're not right now. We're we're. We're warping somewhere. This is crazy, man. What are we doing? <laughs> this is nuts. This is so trippy. Wow. Look at this. Whoa. It's the Bioshock um, bathysphere. We're being transported into... Into a different, different locale. Bioshock 4. You know they're going to make... Like, like um... Take Two said they're gonna make more Bioshock games, but it's not gonna be the same without Ken Levine. I'm sorry. Bioshock 2 made some good gameplay improvements off Bioshock 1, but that game did not even feel as impactful as the first experience. Dude, this is nuts. Look at the visuals here. Right now, I'm playing Caffeine. I'm playing uh, Dylan Brown's Caffeine. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh. This is nuts. I have no idea what's going on. So there's different orbs. Well, how did I get here? Whoa, what is this? Read. The beast fangs. The beast had fangs, but was heavy and slow. So when it saw the light in the sky, it waited, thinking the light would go out like the others before it. When it did not, the beast stood... The beast stood rose up on its legs and went to the place where the fire was still burning as the orange light dies another took its place this one was blue a bright and pure blue that the creature had only seen along the edges of the stars the beast showed its fangs and the light vanished moments later the light appeared again between two distant trees the beast wanted to go home but could not ignore the light so it chased it deeper into the forest when the light stopped, it did, it did some, it, it, it did so, okay, when the light stopped, it did so clearing, it did so something clearing of the trees. The beast entered the circle, feeling no fear. The trees t turned toward the beast, pointing at it like needles, but at the, but the, to but the tops of the trees lowered and dug into the ground. The trunks and roots were raised into the air and closed around the beast like walls. As the ground disappeared, the beast realized it would never use its fangs again. I'll accept the note. Get out of my it's room, mine. Travis! Stories, stories, always with the stories. Get out! I read the fangs one. I liked uh, the beast. At least he gets to leave this goddamn place. Well, we're back. Dude, that was nuts! What is this? Gaylord. America's finest science fiction. Yellow kills the Mars. So is Gaylord sarcastically written there? Or is that someone's name? It's Gaylord Fokker. All right, here's the note. Here's the note that we got. Dude, that was crazy. I love that segment. Wow. All right. Well, 
I don't want to ruin the game too much for you guys who, you know, are playing on playing it either on PC or whether you guys are going to wait for it for a PlayStation 4 release, but this has been my first impressions for The Vanishing of Ethan Carter. Um, it looks gorgeous. As you can see, I love the art direction. It's, it's beautiful. And, um, I mean, it has a really interesting element to it. This is going to be one of those games where you're going to want to allow yourself, like, a lot of time to play it. Like, if you give yourself, like, a straight week of you just playing it and just exploring and just jumping in here and really putting in the time and effort, I think, uh, you'll get something cool out of it. But, um, that was a really cool trippy scene, a scene right there with the spaceship. That was crazy, so... All right, guys, thank you all for watching. I appreciate it. Uh, let me know what you guys think. And like I said, you can get this off of Steam. $15, $20, one of those. And um, if you like what you saw, go ahead and purchase it. And uh, coming out 2015 sometime for PlayStation 4. All right, guys, have a good day. Talk to you later. Goodbye.